good evening all sorry for the delay due to the unavoidable reasons we at sngc are glad to invite you for the 8th day of 9 day sri narayana guru commemorative lecture series we will begin the session with the prayer of sri narayana guru myself dr r priya associate professor and head department of computer science sri narayana guru college is grateful to our management for encouraging us to organize events in the name of the great saint sri narayana guru first and foremost i take this opportunity to welcome our principal dr m elangovan who is an absolute strength of our college and master brain in organizing this 9 day sri narayana guru commemorative lecture series welcome you sir It's my privilege to welcome our resource person for this eighth day event and sixteenth session of this lecture series, Dr. Aditi Sharma, senior IEEE member and working as associate professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering at Quantum University, Roorkee, Uttarakhand, and also designated as coordinator Quantum Resonance Center. Her research areas include cellular automata, cryptography, image processing, and VLSI. She is a mentor of projects on AI. psychological chatbot uh, she is an associate editor of international journal of artificial intelligence international journal of electrical and computer engineering scopus index journal reviewed of uh, reviewer of bulletin of electrical engineering and informatics and international journal of computing and digital systems she is the life member of crypto uh, cryptology society of india international association of engineers also and uh, of ieee and n2 women society she is also serving as advisory committee member technical program committee member and reviewer of several international conferences and international journals she has been the faculty mentor of smart india hackathon and the first aacte chakra vishwakarma award she served as coordinator iit mumbai spoken tutorial nptel atal incubation center uh, she achieved many awards and scholarships including parvati chanda Devi and Gargi scholarship and awards from Madanlal uh, Sunil Das APJ Abdul Kalam she is also got best teacher award by Rajasthan Patrik group we are indeed delightful to have such an eminent personality before us as our resource person for this 9 day sri narayana guru end of commemorative lecture series 
a pleasant welcome you to ma'am i also extend a warm welcome to all the faculty members and my dear students who are here to witness and to experience new new ideas and thoughts once again i welcome you all ma'am now i request you to take over the session i'll be presenting the ppt ma'am thank you so much ma'am uh, first of all first of all i would like to thank you to the management and the head uh, ma'am that is um, priya ma'am and i am really thankful to shri narayana guru Kam college for inviting me as a resource person on this lecture series and i am really sorry for the inconvenience caused for this uh, schedule so here uh, my topic is cyber physical system and industry 4.0 hope uh, we you are from computer science and engineering background and uh, you a bit little bit know about the industry 4.0 and the cyber physical system hopefully we have done our um, our subjects on embedded system and uh, like what uh, we are going to with the uh, computational and communication part for the uh, projects and research so the term cyber physical system was initially coined by alan gill in 2006 that the cyber physical system is a category of embedded system where we are going to interface our physical device to the uh, cyber domain via internet okay it is often called a next generation computing system which uses smart computation techniques associated with physical world ma'am am i audible properly yes ma'am okay uh, can you please move the slide yes. yeah here are the outlines the big picture cyber physical system the driving technology the challenges some solutions and conclusion and the future directions next slide please Here we are having the industry 4.0 picture as uh, our uh, where uh, where we are lying industry 4.0. Here we have cyber physical system, cyber security, digital twin technology, Internet of Things, networks. If uh, if we start from the industry 1.0 that was coined in 1784, we need to use the mechanization. Okay, where we have generated the steam power, we are weaving loom. And after uh, when the revolution comes under the industry 2.0, uh, that was in 1870. Uh, hopefully, it was like a hundred year approx, where we have go to done the mass production assembly line, and uh, we have done the electrical energy, uh, where the world of uh, uh, VLSI of uh, is was coined up. Now we uh, we are standing in the city 3.0 in 1969 to till 2020. Okay, so we, uh, we were having automation, computers, and electronics. Now, in industry 4.0, we are having the connectivity of the internet to the physical devices. Okay, and uh, we are where we are having the automatic technology, digital technology, sustainability with the digital technology. So, in industry 4.0, we are having. In industry 4.0, hello. Yes, ma'am. Uh, is there any kind of disturbance? No, ma'am. Uh, okay. Not from our side, ma'am. Okay, okay. Fine. So, uh, in industry 4.0, I think there is some kind of disturbance again, again. Check it up, ma'am. Ma'am, can you mute yourself so that uh, yeah. uh, I can check that? Please. Okay. Sure. Now it's okay. So in industry 4.0, uh, we are having the digital technology with the help of the internet uh, where we are having the advanced technology like uh, cyber physical system and uh, IoT and uh, like uh, sustainability and computing, communication and computing. These all are coined in the industry form in zero where we are transforming industries and the innovation infographic, okay, where we are uh, transforming our education to the industry domain. So next slide, please, ma'am. So uh, basically what is the... Uh, Cyber physical system. If we talk about uh, cyber physical system, next slide, next slide, please, ma'am. Yeah. 
so uh, we uh, this is a kind of a next generation computing system which uses smart computation techniques that is associated with the physical world and computational units this uh, cps can interact with the real world system by means of computation communication and controls the interaction of computational and physical units leads to the advanced implementation of internet of things and this iot and cps are designed to support the kind of the real real time application and that when is the environmental data sets like uh, where we are having the digital control and the communication now uh, like uh, what to, uh, we are having this uh, slide for the nist website that is uh, um, the uh, nist cps wg that was coined in 2016 the term cyber physical system was coined by the uh, nist this com uh, what do they have given cyber physical system comprise interacting digital analog physical and human components engineered for function through integrated physics and logic now if we uh, called about cyber physical one is the cyber domain second is the physical domain information we are having action and we are having decision in physical domain we will uh, talk about the car now you have to connect to these side real time application for the human being okay so there are the system of system there are the system there are the device and we are going to interact this cyber and the physical for the human kind welfare now uh, we are having example like examples include a smart grid a self driving car a smart manufacturing plant an intelligent transportation system a smart city and internet of things instances connecting new devices for new data streams and new applications now common notions of iot have emphasized network sensors providing data stream to application now cps concept complete these iot notions providing the means for conceptualization of realizing and assuring all aspects of the composed system of which sensors and data streams are the components next slide please ma'am now uh, here we can talk about some kind of solution uh, like what to uh, first solution we can coin here as a smart city what is a smart city in india we have um, like prime minister has listed some cities as under the criteria of smart city there are a lot of criteria which can fulfill by this smart city so for effective management of limited resource to serve largest possible population to improve that is the kind of a smart city so in 2006 it is uh, like uh, what is the liability that is workability sustainability so there is a smart village a smart state a smart country so a cyber physical system will provide you the solution towards a smart city if uh, i can talk about the water management system and water management system is uh, operating via the iot via the internet that is my physical device okay water is uh, uh, filled into the tank and uh, we are managing this water in uh, from the iot like uh, fuzzy logic washing machine we are having that is the example of iot now uh, the example of uh, this uh, we are having uh, some kind of uh, real time uh, management like real time problem and we are providing the solution into the cyber space domain next one is a smart cities three eyes so what is the uh, these three eyes like uh, we are having instrumentation intelligence and interconnection these eyes three eyes are provided by the internet of things so we are going to ins uh, provide the instrumentation that is our controller our digital logics intelligence that is ai artificial intelligence machine learning data science interconnection that is a communication what, what kind of uh, uh, are you using wireless technology are you using optical fibers these all are the smart cities three eyes next is our uh, next slide please ma'am now uh, um, we can say that is cyber physical system if we talk about smart city then there must be the smart components 3g lte wifi that is a part of uh, our interconnection that is uh, if uh, iot is the backbone of these smart cities and if we are building iot with the uh, embedded system design or physical systems then it is called as cyber physical system so transportation 
financial logic energy these are these all are the public infrastructure and this is the under the category of cps if i am talking about the energy management grid management internet home infrastructure now we are living under the scenario of covid and we have seen the application of internet that how much internet is important for our all daily basis lives if there was not such kind of facility then we cannot interact to anyone uh, beyond our home so cyber physical system providing these kind of interconnection with the iot to the physical uh, entities next slide please ma'am next is a cyber physical system that is 3 cs if we are talking about cyber physical system we need to go under the 3 cs like computation communication and the control communication is interconnected to the com uh, communication via the cyber computation is interconnected via the control to the uh, physical and communication and control involves into the system these are the three c's c's of iot and cyber physical system next slide please ma'am now uh, when we are uh, talking about cps that is a short form of cyber physical system we are comprising the interacting digital analog physical and human components and engineered for function through integrated physical and logic we have already discussed now we are having swiggy car scooter now smart spoon enabling markets patients to feed teams now autonomous vehicle of uh, operating without wire or wireless connections outside the vehicle when uh, we are connecting to the internet of things this uh, system referred as a cps now a mars rover operating between messages from earth the original vehicle in the first darpa challenge cruise missile smart bomb in flight to target okay this is the destructive application of cps now generally any cps that is fully contained with no outside network connections okay so these all are the cps and iot how this uh, this is interconnected next slide please ma'am now uh, we are having motion activated light like uh, uh, we need to go under the controller part as a sensor and the actuators if uh, uh, we are talking as an example of motion activated light then uh, uh, we are having sensors a uh, person is going to in uh, via sensors and then out how he is communicating to it, that uh, communication channel network will be there there will be the aggregator as a fuse part and the computational e utility will be there as a model of motion and uh, there will be a kind of software uh, that is a part of uh, azales and or your artificial intelligence part and uh, there will be the actuators and the part is that to uh, outing are is the light um, oning the light now uh, this is the uh, when person is entering uh, automatically sensor det detecting where it is going to enter okay now uh, the person is uh, after that uh, these component work and your light will be activated so this is a kind of cps now uh, that is uh, physical log 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 physical okay so um, here we are maintaining as a physical then log 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 okay so communication channel aggregator computational and this is the this all kind of entity involves as a cps system design next uh, that is test bed what uh, we are going to into the test bed that is our experimental because it's a kind of hardware related activity <laughs> मैम कैन यू म्यूट दैम दैट इज kind of disturbance is there
Ma'am, you can proceed, ma'am. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, okay, ma'am. Next slide, please. Now, this is a, a mathematical framework of mathematical framework of theoretic assurance of uh, cyber physical system uh, like what uh, we have talked about uh, that uh, this is the kind of test bed where we have to go after the measurement part first is the experiment second is the measurement and third one is the assurance so here we are having the some factors hello ma'am uh, there is kind of disturbance everyone must mute it man. okay so here uh, we are having property tree of a cps and uh, we have some kind of uh, mathematical functions that is p belongs to concern cps and after the semantics of cps work now uh, if we are talking about the cyber physical system it's uh, totally about the business case uh, where we have to learn about the uml diagram and uh, case design of uh, related uh, uh, physical entity now uh, we are having p m upon b c as a mission and the business case now p r that is the integration steps then p s that is the p assumption p suck uh, that is success criteria then p aspect or concern that is my aspect or concern these ones is uh, capture the genealogy of a property now branching gives assurance conditions for the branching node property now concerns may give rise to multiple properties in the functional decomposition now is this should be read depends on the l2 uh, like what uh, if we are having pm upon uh, bc as a mission or business case uh, then it is uh, directly uh, connected to the functional uh, decomposition of sub services that is pr ps and psuc that is integration steps assumption and the success criteria after that uh, we are having requirement analysis decomposition and concern application that is p aspect um, con or concern uh, all the entities are interconnected and uh, these uh, connected as the uh, needs to satisfy okay l2 are, are the uh, left to right we are having the needs to satisfy uh, sorry depends on um, one is depends on the another and uh, r2 l is the needs to satisfy uh, that is the kind of interrelation if uh, we are going to uh, like uh, sub, uh, for the measurement support that is my measurement support to mu1 mu2 mu1 uh, factors of t that is my property tree and then evidence of cps is uh, defined as the t bar cps now decomposition also refers as a c1 into c2 because cyber physical system is a part of giving the uh, experiment measurement and the assurance these all are combined together and after that we are building the cps so uh, that is the design element d test evidence e and uh, def is the design element d test evidence e are sufficient based on argument a to conclude that cps satisfies p now assurance case cps now c belongs to aspect cps these all are integrated in the argumentation of cps so this is the theoretic assurance of cps if you, next slide please ma'am Uh, uh, this is uh, uh, for the uh, previous one is yes this one applying cps framework to decomposition yeah so here we are having applying the um, cps uh, framework to the decomposition in previous slide we have seen the what are the um, factors uh, uh, theoretical uh, assurance of cps now if we are having cps function times as a business case use case feature and uh, we are having the some components controller part and physical part then influence energy logical masses and info these these are called as the function types so this is a kind of example now uh, these are the functional decomposition or allocation now we are having the apply and uh, aspects of concerns 
Now, safety properties of a function is AEV. That is, vehicle provides uh, automatic collision safety function. Then, vehicle provides maintain safe stopping if uh, we are using use case feature. Then, we are having the P CPS that is braking functions rates as required. Then, AEV friction function provides appropriate friction. Now, AV stopping algorithm provided safe stopping. Now, uh, we are having the messaging function receives distance to obstacles and speed from pop, uh, population function. Now, uh, if we are talking about logical masses and info part, then uh, distance and the speed info is understood by the slide, please, ma'am. Hello. So applying concerns to the functions. Here we are having the uh, concerns as the CPS function. That is, uh, uh, we are having the trustworthiness. So our major challenges is the trustworthiness. That is safety, reliability, security, resilience, and the to uh, function safety, the, what is the hazard between those uh, um, point of uh, trustworthiness and the authorization. So we are having the cyber security, physical security feature. If we are talking the privacy, that is uh, predictability, manageability, and disturbability. Now, if uh, we are going to the um, hazard, that is severity, frequency, and controllability, how much our um, function is going to be into the hazard space, uh, hazard, uh, like if you are talking about the industries or uh, like uh, a small management system where uh, we are managing the real world entity, that it may contain severity, frequency, and controllability. If uh, after that, uh, where will we are building the cyber security, then we are having the features as CIA, that is confidentiality, integrity, and availability. After that, we are having the encryption via some kind of uh, um, cyber um, cryptographic techniques. Now, uh, that is uh, after that, uh, where we are uh, uh, talking about the authorization, we are having the controls, transparency, innovation. These uh, are called as function feature, are transforming into the apply aspects or concerns. And after that, we are in generating the properties. Next slide, please, ma'am. Okay. So here, uh, that is a concern property interaction in our cyber physical system framework. We are having three kind of uh, things that is concern tree. Second one is the properties requirements and the third one is interaction. So uh, here these are my lesion that is meets or addresses. OK, um, these uh, red line, red edges are uh, denoted as the meets and green lines are denoted as the addresses. If uh, we are talking about interaction that is I1, I2, I, uh, up to IK, then uh, these are interacting to the properties or requirements as the O authorization interactions and the AES part. That is my cyber security domain. After that, uh, we are authenticating or encrypting the meets part as a controls, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Now, uh, we are having again the privacy predictability and the security and the cyber security. So, uh, one that is the one concern to another are depending on between those so calculate these are calculated use the pathways through the up or down regulation relationship between the properties of the cpas now these correspond to the derivatives uh, an incremental change in one results in a negative or positive impact on the other now impact is the integral all interaction pathways now p0 topological definition of integral definition uh, differential calculus next slide please ma'am 
these all are the theoretical mathematical part of the cps how we are going to design the cps um, into the um, our practical aspect now here we are having if we are talking about it infrastructure okay that is why digital technology so how much risk mitigation will be there if we are talking it system and iot cps then primary impact of failure in it system we we are not uh, having any kind of impact on the physical domain but by, uh, when we are talking about the risk mitigation about iot or cps then it will be if uh, uh, we are having talking about the mitigation mechanism then uh, i, I uh, whether we are uh, going through the xml html but uh, when we are talking about the iot or cps because we are interacted to the physical entity as a hardware so we are talking about the digital part analog part and the physical part then it, this is the code better cyber security through physics okay now next slide please ma'am that is healthcare cyber physical system at cps okay so here uh, we are having i am md that is my uh, iot bed management in the hospitals so here we can see that uh, we are having the on body sensors robots can be there smart gadgets will, will can be there smart watches are there for measuring picture may be there smart home emergency responses smart hospital nurse so these are all the quality and sustainable healthcare with limited resources the work is going on it's not up to the uh, mark like uh, if that uh, cps is already implemented it's not yet okay the work is all uh, going on now headband with embedded neuro sensors okay now embedded skin patches are there for, as the healthcare cyber physical system next slide please ma'am next one is our uh, like uh, if we are talking about transportation then also cps has major impact on the transportation and uh, the implementation part is a small part i can uh, discuss like uh, if we are violating the traffic rules uh, we are having the photographs on the uh, at our home on our whatsapp that you have violated the traffic rule and you have to fine okay so this is a kind of a small example of cps uh, that uh, we are going on a vehicle and you are targeting via machine intelligence system and uh, you have to need to find in cash okay in cash or digital economy that is the um, not the major thing now uh, we are having the mobile communication satellite communication as the communication part now security system are there okay then mobile communication uh, vehicle to vehicle technology are there then uh, schedule and location are there google maps uh, are the also the example of this now travel and passenger passenger information is there now traffic and construction is there vehicle to vehicle city traffic management is there toll system are there the smart intersection is there okay uh, these all are the part of iot and the cps that is traffic management real time vehicle tracking vehicle to vehicle communication scheduling of train air car and automatic payment or ticket system automatic toll connection so the global market of iot based connected cars is expected to reach dollar 46 billion by 2020 okay so it is like uh, in um, covid was there in 2020 so maybe it was not achieved yet next slide please ma'am now next one is agriculture cyber physical system so if we talk about agriculture cyber physical system we are having the smart application as a drone okay drone will uh, overgo for for the watering in the plants for the in the crops if there is some kind of disease those drones can identify and then they can medicate it like a expert system okay so they can medicate them that uh, um, these are the how much you uh, means um, how much fertilizer will be there so that is climate smart agriculture objectives are increasing agriculture productivity increasing agriculture productivity resilience to climate change reducing green, greenhouse gas so this is the example that is uh, the source of moria 2017 
so uh, here we can see that uh, that is a uh, like uh, automatic irrigation system you no need to go in the farm and uh, uh, irrigation will be automatically done that is a future farms and a small and the smart next slide please ma'am next one is the driving technologies okay the part of driving technologies are the sensor technology variety of them so uh, different different kind of sensors are there uh, like uh, air flow sensors and uh, then electrocardiogram sensors ecg electromyography sensors emg e health sensor shield for arduino and raspberry pi uh, for the iot building okay now and galvanic skin uh, response sensors if we are going for for the health management system or some kind of disease prediction system then you need to go with these all sensors working and uh, drafting for the uh, work of those sensors now patient uh, position system uh, sensors are there that is accelerometer now blood pressure sensors are also there and uh, pulse and oxygen in blood sensor that is SpO2 and uh, body temperature sensors are there so these are kind of variety where we can build a cyber physical system now uh, we are having thing that is my physical device after that sensor then device with its own ip address so, like if we are talking about uh, um, like uh, we are having the combo sensor string torch so the, in this car we are having more than 100 sensors okay depending on the work and the functionality how much you uh, you need to go into the function uh, full level sensors wheel screw sensors then mirror sensor then accelerator portrait angle sensors then transmission sensor headlight rain sensors then uh, chassis level sensors then motion position sensors and next slide please ma'am So here, uh, next is the IoT and the communication technology. So uh, we are having the part as the sensors, that is the my control part. After that, we are having the communication part, that is my IoT part. These all IoT part is connected to the sensors part, that is Bluetooth Low Energy, Zigbee, Jetwave, Slow Pond, Thread, Wi-Fi, Cellular, NFC, Sigbox new lora van whatever uh, kind of range you have selected and what kind of power consumption is there um, you need to uh, go under uh, this because uh, uh, for these all kind of technology you have to see about the physical feasibility okay if uh, we are talking about wi-fi data range like uh, one dps okay 4G LT, it will give us 100 Mbps. So, depending on the innovation and the project, you can undergo with the range and the data range, and you can select which kind of IoT, um, internet or communication technology you need to undergo. Next slide, please, ma'am. Now, we are having computing technology and current emerging. That is my uh, tensor processing unit. FPGA is also there, uh, field programmable gate array. Now, SOC based system of chip based design. Uh, and these are the um, some kind of motherboard, and you can say uh, where we are going to develop our uh, device, uh, embedded device onto the IoT. So, that is the NPU neural processing unit. If we are going to the healthcare system, then you need to undergo with the neural processing unit. Deep GPU is also there and uh, 320 trillion operations per second was done with the soc based design that is 30 powers of power next slide please ma'am next one is uh, uh, what kind of machine learning technology as there for the uh, cps that is artificial intelligence you already know then iot used for the better decision faster response and going deep so tensor processing unit also there so next slide please ma'am after that uh, we are talking part of blockchain technology like uh, we are talking about the bitcoin digital currency that is the part of uh, cps uh, okay cyber physical system like what a uh, bitcoin is coined under the cyber physical system we are converting digital um, uh, physical currency into the digitalization 
next slide please ma'am now we are having uav like smart city application under the four categories that is data collection and surveying we are having the monitoring and tracking we are having the temporary infrastructure then delivery of goods so uh, this one was given by the uh, christos q in 2019 that what kind of uh, potentials augmenting our quality of life so how we are going under the smart city application into the drones okay so drone will go for the data collection and surveying part in irrigation system you can take the example monitoring and tracking also there so temporary infrastructure is also there and we can deliver the goods on um, by these um, these drones now next slide please ma'am here are some kind of challenges next slide please ma'am next slide please so here is smart city and selected challenges if we are going to develop iot design and operation selected challenges then we need to undergo the massive scaling safety robustness energy consumption architecture and dependencies creating knowledge and big data now security privacy and ip protection and design and operation cost these um, these are the like of uh, major challenging by using cps if we are talking about uh, massive scaling part we are emphasizing on the area and time okay scaling uh, sometime refers like uh, how much space uh, our device is going to be built on the chip okay so it must be Uh, we need to go for the massive scaling um we have to go with the minimization of the our architecture okay so this is the kind of challenge design and operation cost how much cost will be there cost in the time and money and uh, speed security privacy and ip protection if we are going to build in, under the iot obviously hacker sorry was rocker will hack our ip address and they, they will undergo with the physical entity so it will be very unsafe if we are connected to the cyber domain to the physical system but it is a major kind of challenge how we are providing security and privacy to the ip protection after that uh, if we are talking about uh, we are collecting the data data is also there so this is a kind of big data managing big data is already a challenge so how we undergo with the uh, this smart city if we are talking about like uh, there is a salted water under some a few a uh, few legs okay so uh, this salted water must be purified and go to the um, home on the tap so this is the uh, how much uh, Uh, quality will be there salted water having uh, some kind of feature okay so these features are monitor monitored and some kind of machine learning techniques will be there uh, for the purification um, ph scale will be there okay so these big data may be managed or not so this is a kind of challenge now architecture and dependencies all also there then energy consumption obviously if we are building a device then it will consume the energy next slide please ma'am that is a uh, security challenge of uh, our system so one challenge is, is the power grid attack next one is the system failure next one is uh, hacking the airbags or controls or steering because i already are uh, talked to like uh, if we are connecting any device into the cyber domain okay so hackers are there for destruction okay so you need to build your security mechanism into it before launching it next slide please ma'am here is the iomt security that is selected attacks if we are talking about to smart healthcare then a was dropper man can attack in personation attacks will be there reverse engineering attacks will be there radio attacks will be there 
and uh, there may be security kind threats will be there physical attack network attack software attack and encryption attack so these kind of attacks may be emphasized into the imd security these are the selected and uh, can uh, was taken in the ipple transaction on consumer electronics next one please ma'am Uh, next slide, please, ma'am. I think uh, it is previous slide, previous, previous one. That is HCPS security measures is hard energy constraint. No, no, no. This not before. Uh, before this, thirty number, number thirty. Yes. So here we are having SCB security measures is hard energy concern that is uh, uh, like a pest maker battery life is 10 years and a neural simulator battery life is 8 years. So we are implanting well medical devices have integrated battery to provide energy to all their functions. So limited battery life depending on functions then the higher battery energy uses lower uh, that is uh, my implantable medical devices lifetime if we are having higher battery then uh, obviously my imd lifetime will be less then battery imd replacement that is needs surgical risky procedures so this is the security measures in uh, hard energy constrained devices next slide please ma'am that is blockchain has many challenges So here we are having the blockchain has many challenges as a uh, like uh, fake block generation like uh, someone is going to link uh, with the fake block into the sequence of the blocks. So we are having the high energy consumption, lack of scalability, now high latency, lack of privacy, limited on-chain storage capability. This is uh, uh, going through the uh, IEEE Consumer Electronics Magazine. What kind of uh, challenges we are facing into the cyber physical system for developing the further innovations? Next slide, please, ma'am. Now, next is the blockchain energy need is huge. So, uh, energy for mining of a one bitcoin. Okay, we are mining our energy as one bitcoin. Energy congestion two years of a US household. How much uh, energy our um, household? May consume energy consumption for each bitcoin transaction is uh, uh, 80,000 x like energy consumption of a credit card processing. So, everything is consuming energy. We are not able to visualize that thing, but when we are going to develop any kind of a physical system into the cyber domain, you need to go with these factors how much my scalability, my area, my space, my uh, on chip storage, uh, like what uh, how much my energy consume consumption, what will be the, my battery life. So, this blockchain energy need is used. Next slide, please, ma'am. After that, uh, we are having uh, AI security attacks. That is, uh, now attackers capability is accessing to training data, accessing to modeling model training, access to trained model. That is, get data, train model, and the deploy data. What is the um, part of our uh, AI? So, attackers goal is there. Model poisoning attraction. He can um, like uh, poisoning the extraction. What will be the train model? He can uh, decompose that model into the uh, required form as per required with the hackers or attackers. So and after that, uh, in deploy model, model inversion will, can be there. Person person will be there. Inversion will be there. So these all are the related challenges and the attacks. Some kind of solutions are developed by uh, some researchers and uh, some scientists. And uh, I'll go on and discuss two few solutions uh, about uh, those challenges, uh, whoever I discussed about that. So next slide, please, ma'am. Next slide. A secure digital camera that is the invention of Aspi Mohanty. He is working uh, under the like cyber physical system only. 
so here we are having the secure digital camera we are having a shuttler controller shuttler lands and after that there is the system controller and this is connected to the um, your shuttler controller and active pixel sensors after that analog to digital converter uh, there is a processing unit that is dsp that is digital signal processing and we are having the on board memory after that uh, when we are talking you know, bottom to up part we are having privacy unit copyright unit compression unit and the flash memory and we are having lines as the controller and data and uh, they have implemented security unit using lightweight cryptography okay there is a key and key is going to is directly and uh, between we are having puac that is uh, uh, for the connecting to the on board memory and the system controller alternative hardware software components and uses dv apps uh, like technology for energy and performance optimization so that is security and or privacy by design so this is the innovation done by uh, professor sp mohanty and uh, that is uh, um, uh, like uh, we are uh, Uh, securing the uh, digital camera for the attackers uh, from the attackers next one please now again is the next part uh, that is also an invention by professor sp mohanty so secure by digital approach design approach for robust security in healthcare cps okay so in healthcare cps they are having and devices okay and uh, we are having imo imd and wmd okay that is our um, implanted medical devices we are having as router as servers and gateway okay and uh, the, these all are connected to the lan network and uh, internet uh, is uh, performing their function via the cloud okay there are cloud services then uh, we are having remote connection through the doctors or nurse remotely and uh, these lan are also connected to the doctors or lans so where we are building the security that is between the uh, implanted medical devices okay so that uh, uh, the challenges what was uh, uh, there will be the, there what was there in imd devices must not be uh, given in the must not be uh, faced to uh, our through the doctors or nurses next slide please ma'am after that uh, we are having healthcare uh, security again that is iomt security proposed pm sac uh, this was uh, also done by professor sp mohanty because he is working into the domain these uh, devices like uh, um, how much time to generate uh, the key at server okay how much time to generate the key at iomt device so they are providing the security through the um, uh, cyber physical system so iomt device is there then uh, pm module is built on the fpga and uh, average power overhead is 200 my um, mu w so here we are having a server and the iomt device and pm module on fpga so these uh, like uh, we are having time to authenticate the devices 1.2 second to 1.5 second oh, uh, like uh, this is um this is a big amount of seconds because we are talking in uh, micro or nanoseconds but here we are relating as 1.2 seconds or 1.5 seconds so these are the very five flat platform on on the fpga next slide please ma'am next slide please ma'am Yeah. Proposed world's first hardware integrated blockchain. That is POF chains. Uh, um, this is the purely secure chain. So they also propose a chain for scalable, energy efficient, and fast. It is like in the testing phase, and uh, this is not uh, uh, undergone with the experimental part yet now. So they are also developing the integrated blockchain uh, for the energy efficient and the secure domain. Next slide, please, ma'am.
next slide please ma'am yeah you have changed you have changed the hardware assisted scalable domain we are having the uh, client nodes okay so client nodes are connected through the pofs uh, are um, like uh, decomposition uh, unit for the uh, physical unit part that is my um, cyber physical system part now that is my physical unclonable function and uh, that is uh, connected to interconnected to the um, some kind of communication medium then uh, there are trusted media uh, trusted nodes then uh, pcf pof chain system model we have already they have designed after there are the as devices and these as devices are connected to the cloud storage this can provide device system and data security so pof chain has two modes like pof mode and pof chain mode so here we can um, if we, we can see what is the pof chain working model iot device with pof module then uh, block with pof key added to the data then block broadcasted to p2p network then uh, these all are the interconnected to the interested node verifies the device using pof key after that new block uh, is there and uh, distributed laser is uh, deployed on the old blocks and after that uh, my transaction is completed for the blockchain that is the pof chain the hardware assisted scalable blockchain developed by the uh, sp mohanty professor sp mohanty after that uh, next slide please ma'am next one is uh, pop is 1000x faster than pow that is uh, power of work and uh, proof of work and uh, proof of uh, power so we are having client nodes and pofs and the hashing module so pow and uh, po authentication these are all, all are developed and deployed on the cloud and raspberry pi so pow pop is calculated as the 1000 um, times for the pow next slide please ma'am next we can talk about uh, energy consumption and latency in communication so uh, when we are talking about energy consumption we are going to the sensors part and communication part so iot with cloud sensor big data goes to cloud for stories and analytics consume significant energy in communication network now connected cars require latency of millisecond to communicate and avoid impending crash that is faster connection low latency and lower power 5g for connected world uh, enables all devices to be connected seamlessly next slide please now now next is eternal thing combined security and energy harvesting as the is so when we are talking about uh, some kind of uh, um, eternal things solar cell will be there so we are having harvesting system with physical um, uncontrollable fun un uh, uncontrollable function then sensor system on chip and transceiver so these uh, all are connected to each other like uh, we are having s devices and their deployment after that uh, we need to deploy to the communication channel on the iot smart nodes then gateways will be there so provide uh, consuming power duty security only harvesting while 22 micro uh, watt will be there so there is cloud and uh, after that communication will be done from the uh, cyber domain to the physical entity next slide please ma'am next one is smart healthcare stress monitoring control this is also an uh, innovation of research kind of part by the professor sp mohanty so uh, we are having his smart stress monitoring and control so they have developed um, like uh, food intact monitoring components sweet sensors and uh, physical activity monitoring sensors body temperature and these all are connected to the asd learning based stress model by the various data and uh, stress level detection unit are there then how much stress are going from these deep learning model so stress management unit will um, 
means uh, analyze analyze for the short term advice uh, how much stress level is there and stress value is there after that uh, these all part are connected with the wi-fi module and uh, storing over the cloud and uh, that is totally built as the automated stress level detection and the management so accelerometer low stress is uh, valued as 0 to 75 normal stress is 75 to 100 and high stress is uh, 101 to 200 steps per minute and humidity also measured and temperature is also measured so that is the kind of application part for the smart health care next slide please ma'am next one is again an interesting application that is iglu that is accurate non-invasive glucose level monitoring and insulin delivery uh, for the diabetic patient so um, these devices are going to um, in, like uh, monitor your continuous glucose and uh, these will display the parameters there is the insulin screen uh, station then the artificial pan panacles system is there so this is the privacy assured health data storage over the cloud and uh, these cloud are also connected to the hospital and the doctor and uh, in between we are having security assured system um, for the glucose monitoring and the insulin delivery and uh, we are having the near infrared uh, based non invasive accurate continuous um, glucose monitoring system as uh, like shown in the diagram so that uh, one can inject insulin um, after monitoring um, glucose uh, like uh, if it's below level then it can inject the so here we are having the conclusions as next slide please ma'am next slide Energy requirements and security vulnerability are important challenges in cyber physical system. If uh, someone is going to uh, build to their carrier into the cyber physical system, it will undergo into the problem and the challenges. And after that, uh, they can provide the solution for the uh, real world application. Now, various elements and components of CPs, including data, devices, system components, AI, need security. Now, both software and hardware based attacks and solutions are possible. Now, security in HCPS, ECPS, and TCPS can have serious consequences that is, uh, healthcare, um, like transportation, and uh, like infrastructure related. Now, existing security solutions have serious overheads and may not even run in the end services like a medical device or CPA of CPS or IoT. Now, security by design or hardware assisted security advocates features at early design phase, no retrofitting. So, these all are the conclusions related to our um, means theme and agenda. Now, CPS design. So, these next slide, please, ma'am. So CPS design that is multi objective trades of so non recurring design costs, recurring operational costs, energy consumption, battery life, security, privacy, IP rights, net safety, and performance latency, and the intelligence. These all are the multi objective CPS design platform. Next slide, please, ma'am. Now, security by design and or privacy by design. We can talk about uh, cyber physical system as the embodying of security privacy into the architecture, hardware plus software of various products, programs or services. So, retrofitting difficult or impossible. You need to interconnect between these two terms for the cyber physical, cyber physical system. Thank, next slide, please, ma'am. Next one, please. So, thank you. Uh, so, hardware are the drivers of the civilization. Even software needs them. And uh, this PPT help was done by Smart Electronic System Laboratory, and that is SESL. Thank you to them also, and uh, thank you, audience. Is there any query?
So I really would like to thank uh, Professor Arpriya, Principal Sir, and the whole management and the audience and uh, uh, Professor Karthi for inviting me this uh, uh, program. Thank you so much. And if there is any query, um, so anyone, anyone can ask. Good evening. Good evening. This is Mrs. Priya Darshini from Narayanagar okay. College. Okay, ma'am. Yeah, I'm, I'm here to propose a word of thanks, a formal session. Okay, thank you so much. A warm good evening to all. It's a great honor and privilege to propose the word of thanks on this memorable occasion. Let me first of all start by giving glory to the Almighty God for making today's occasion a grand success. First and foremost, I would like to thank our beloved principal, Dr. M. Ilangovan, for his support, vision, and commitment. Thank you, sir. Then I would like to express our sincere gratitude to our chief guest, Dr. Aditi Sharma, Associate Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Quantum University, Uttarakhand, who despite her busy schedule, has found time to grace this occasion and also delivered an informative lecture on Cyber Physical System and Industry 4.0, Blockchain, etc., which made us to think really smart. Thank you, ma'am. Next, my heartfelt thanks to Dr. R. Priya, Associate Professor and Head, Department of Computer Science, for her valuable contribution, guidance, and encouragement in all of our effort. Thank you, ma'am. Next, I would like to thank my fellow friends who helped a lot for the success of 9 day Sri Narayana Guru Lecture Series. Thank you, friends. Last but not least, I thank all the participants for your kind cooperation. Hope you have enriched the knowledge about cyber physical system and industry 4.0 and making this session as a grand success. Thank you all. Once again, I really thank everyone. Thank you, ma'am. Ma'am? Ma'am? Sorry, ma'am. Uh, I was disconnected. Yeah, no problem, ma'am. No problem. Thank you for the wonderful session, ma'am. Is there any query? Participants, if you have any queries, please put up your questions. Ma'am, I hope this does this is doesn't need a query because we have explained very clearly. Okay, thank you so much, ma'am, and thank you to all for listening me patiently. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, once again. Yeah, thank you to you, ma'am. Managing the session wonderfully. Uh, the organizers are quite a ma manager, wonderful manager. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Dear part. Dear participants, you will receive your certificates very soon. Ma'am, shall we wind up, ma'am? Uh, I have uh, shared the feedback link. Sure, so ma'am. Students, uh, uh, students, you can fill the form so that you can receive the certificates. You can leave the meeting then. Dear participant, please fill up the feedback form, which helps to receive your certificates. Mm -hmm. 